Hello everyone, this is Assistant Professor Dharam Unarkat. Welcome you all to the subject Effective Technical Communication. In the last video, we have started module number 5 that is Etiquettes. In the last videos, we have covered topics like Etiquettes, its definition, types of the Etiquettes, need of the Etiquettes, why we need to study the Etiquette or to implement in our life and telephonic etiquettes in detail. This topic we have covered in the previous videos. Now, today we will start with a new topic that, that is etiquettes for foreign business trips. In many ways, business travel can be much different than the leisure travel because now you are not representing yourself but you are representing your company. The impression you make as a visiting business can be a deciding factor in whether or not the business relationship will thrive. For some employees, travel is a part of their daily routine. Maybe your employees communicate to each other in every day or maybe they travel around the globe to visit your other offices. Whatever the case may be, there are some etiquette tips that every person should know before traveling. For example, punctuality. We will discuss this all topics in detail, but let's have a brief of this travel etiquette. For example, punctuality, one of the easiest etiquette tip is also one of the most important. Always be punctual. Whether traveling by car or you are you traveling by plane or train, this means the first and the foremost scheduling your travel times and arrival times earlier than necessary. It's always best to be early as we know, not in the traveling but this is also applicable to the daily life. Not only does this give to time to get everything in order but it also ensures that you have plenty of time to make it to your final destination. Other example is the preparedness for travel and meeting. Traveling prepared encompasses many different things like having the proper documentation and tickets for travel, but also rem remembering all the material that you need for your meeting. What's an easy way to do this? Use an iPad, it's portable, lightweight and easy to store during the travel. An iPad is also one of many ways to simplify business travel. Other example is fam familiar yourself with the culture in the city. As an act of courtesy and to make sure you don't offer a handshake. And iPad is only the many ways to simplify your business travel. Next is the courtesy in respect to your technology use. A great tip for both the business and the pleasure travel. Always remember to be respectful when using a technology. Other travelers don't want to listen to your phone calls or hear your ringtone for each email received. Talk as quickly as possible and always put your phone on vibrate. Keep mind always put your phone in vibrate or in the silent mode so that the other members in the meeting or in the travel does not get disturbed. More, one more etiquette for the business travel trip is always clean up after yourself. Be it, be, be it by plane, car or train that you are traveling, everyone has stress that they need to dispose of at some point. Make it a point to throw away the dress in an appropriate location rather than leaving it for an employee or further travel to dispose of. This all are some examples of the foreign travel tips, how, why it is necessary and why you need to see the foreign travel trips. Now let us know the some aspects that one must check before traveling abroad. For example, give all the information like your arrival date, your time, your schedule after you reach there. Next, if you are asked to give the information about your stay and the food requirement before you reach there, then you must send the detail clearly and before time so that they get the time to make the arrangement for you. 
find out from the internet you may ask to your friends or colleagues staying there where you are going about the culture of the country and learn from his or her the way to deal with the people this will help to be more familiar with the people of that country where you are going for the business trip in different countries the way of greeting are different for example a firm handshake is used to greet while in the few countries kissing on the cheek is used to greet each other so learn about the way they are greeting the country you are going learn you may take the help of the google you may ask your friends staying there if if you he or she is living there where you are going for the business trip ask how the way their people greet so you may help for that next find out how they behave in the meeting people of usa and canada may directly come to the business talk and they are highly professionals while if you have noticed in india we start with the small talks often asking the personal questions or we we are first starting with the our weather some activities going in our country we the people in the india starting with this and then we switch over to the professional world or we can say that the business talk but as we have discussed in the usa or the canada they directly come to the business talk so learn about that how they starting starting talking next there are different norms of giving and accepting the gifts in different countries for example usually in some countries like usa it is good etiquette to open the gift in front of the giver while if you have noticed in our country in india it is considered to be the rude in india if we accept gift from other people we put it aside because it considered to be the rude to open it in front of that person but in the usa it considered to be good it considered to be the good etiquette to open the gift in the person who have gave it so these are some etiquette for the gifts in most of the countries except india and russia people reach before the scheduled time of the meeting in most of the western countries there is a culture of being thankful for all the little favors while in india we assume certain obligations in our relations with others and would not always express our gratitude it is also advisable to learn a few common words like greeting in their language for example learn some words for example you learn how they greet how say how they say thank you how they say sorry for example in india we continuously in the small small mistakes we say sorry but in the usa they don't in say sorry in frequently so how they greet how they apologize learn about that also find out the norms of taking meals and paying the bills of that country unlike asians the people in usa uk australia canada and a few other countries are straight forward which may sometimes sound to be the rude but it is their way of dealing with the others so these are some points which you have to keep in mind while you go for the business trips now let us learn few simple etiquette tips that help make your business trip not easier but also more effective first is the attire your attire is the first key to successful business travel if your schedule allows travel in comfortable clothes and change when you get to your destination this will keep your stress level down and help keep you focused on your mission your business attire should match or can be just a little more formal than the normal attire of the company you are visiting keep in mind it is more somewhat more formal than the company you are visiting next is the transportation whether you are traveling by the car train or plane it is important that you maintain etiquettes throughout the trip if you are driving make sure you have mapped out your trip even if you are using the gps device 
have your train or plane tickets ready before you get in line or respect all the attendants. Third is the punctuality. As we have discussed in the few minutes before, punctuality the most important etiquette for the business travel. Maintaining punctuality is one of the easiest way to make a good impression or business client or associates. Timely or early arrival so you are attentive and dedicated to the business relationship, your goals and its success. Next is the cell phones, laptops and PDAs. For example, technology is has become a nearly a requirement in every industry nowadays. If you are traveling with your cell phones, your laptops or PDA, be aware of how you use it. Your use of technology should never interrupt a business meeting or engagement. If you receive an important phone calls, excuse yourself. Thank you people for their patience when you return. If you not, if you are in the normally type of meeting, notes on your laptop when you are at the home. Consider writing them by hands on the business trip. Others may find Typing disrespectful or annoying. So how you use your laptop PDS is also one of the important etiquette. And next is the negotiation. Have all your ideas and facts in order before any meeting. Be ready to thoughtful address any concerns or questions that arise during your negotiation session. If you are traveling internationally, Familiarize yourself with the nation's culture and traditional business practices. So these are the five simple etiquettes which will make your business trip more effective. First is attire, then transportation, punctuality, negotiation, the cell phones, laptop, PDAs, how you use it. So these are the simple etiquettes. Now let us understand some travel etiquettes that we have to follow. First. Learn about the place you are going. Not every country has the same business culture. As we have discussed, some countries have different gre greeting style, others have different. So learn about the country where you are going. It's good to brush up on the place you will be visiting. For example, in a country like Turkey, a firm handshake is considered to be the rude. While in the China, you should greet oldest people first and then bow slightly. So these are some etiquettes for the different countries. Second, learn the language at least little. As we have discussed, at least learn how they are greeting, dropping in a simple hello or thank you or it was nice meeting you will go a long way if it is a language familiar to, the, to your host. Next, please don't criticize the food. Also, please don't criticize the venue. It's like what mom always said, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. If your food seems strange, be polite. Never criticize your food. If you don't like it, never criticize it. If you don't want to say nice, then don't say anything at all. Next, be curious. If your host starts to tell you about the place you are visiting, pay attention. The more you know about the place of your host country, the more comfortable you will be conversing with the people later in your visit. So if your host is saying some about his or her country, then pay attention. And the last and the most important, here's my card. Here is another thing to brush upon. The etiquette for giving and receiving your business cards. For example, in China and Japan, you should present your card with two hands with the writing facing the person getting the card. Expert advise having, having your cards printed in the country's language as well. Most important when you print your cards if you are going if your time if time allows print it in the language where you are going in which country you are going. So these are some five simple etiquettes which will help you to brush up your etiquette. For example, learn about the place you are going. Learn the language at least little. At least learn about how they are greeting. Praise, don't criticize the food. We have discussed praise. Don't criticize the venue. 
be curious if he or she is saying something about his or her country be curious to know it and last learn about how to give the card or how to accept the card so this is all about the etiquette for the foreign trips let's lastly lastly brief some one point which we have not discussed is most important as your first impression introduction this i have kept in the last because it is very important introduction plays a significant role in the success of your international business travel researching how properly introduce yourself in the country you are traveling to go a long way and help you foster mutual respect and professionalism pay attention to the way people communicate and they loud and more outgoing or is there a soft spoken or patience approach how they are speaking learn about that and then introduce yourself because familiar with the proximix titles and hierarchies to introduce yourself and others so these are the type or the etiquette how you have to introduce yourself again briefly different cultures around the world also have the unique body language during the introduction use the proper body language which is applicable to the country you are visiting while a handshake is often appropriate as we have discussed in japan a simple bow might work just fine they in we have discussed in japan and china a simple bow the french frequently kiss on the cheek but people are cautious about their personal space and tend to be more reversed eye contact in north america is commonly shown as a sign of respect and indicates that you are paying attention to who you are talking while in latin america strong eye contact could be a deemed as rude or aggressive strong communication skill fortune a good working relationship between you and your international contact so in this video we only covered the topic etiquette for the business travel trip which is very much important in the your industry or organization so more topic of module 5 that is etiquettes we will discuss in the upcoming videos thank you